Yo, what's good? It's your boy Bike with another video. So recently or um, over the past, I would say three months, four months, I have made upgrades to my setup. And rather than make individual videos about this boom arm that I got or the Wildcom Slim pin that I got, I wanted to collectively have a a bunch of upgrades, a bunch of small little upgrades and then just make one video uh, to actually show those off um, and show what I did with, uh, with my actual setup. So we're gonna get right into it. So first on the list is gonna be the Wildcom Slim Pen. Now I picked this thing up, not because, ooh, I just I love a Slim Pen, I, I, I want this. No, I picked this up because sad to say, I lost my other pen. I don't know where it was. I didn't know where it was, I couldn't find it. So I'm like, okay, I, I need to find another stylus. And then when you know, soon as the Slim Pen come, I found my other pen. But you know, now I got an extra pen. So this pen, I can say the slim pin, Wacom slim pin. Of course, the name, it feels slim, right? <laughs> this pin, uh, it, it feels like I can, when I'm drawing with it, it feels like I can get very detailed with my drawing. Um, I know that doesn't really make sense. I, I know in real life that I can get just as much detail with my regular pen, but it, it just feels like I can get more detailed with this slim pen for some reason. So right now my current work workflow with it is uh, I usually sketch with it because it is slimmer, it's lighter, and I feel more, uh, I guess, freeing. I don't, I, I don't know how to explain, but I got the pen. Um, do I, now do I recommend this pen to anybody? No, not unless you were in the same situation that I was in. Can't, can't find your pen and all of the other pens are actually sold out. So the next gear upgrade is gonna be this microphone boom arm. Uh, it's made by Vivo. It's about $70. Now the thing that makes this boom arm so good, right, for, for my use is that it is low profile. So right now, as you can see my microphone right now, it is on this boom arm, but you cannot see the actual arm. Now, if you compare this to my other boom arm, which was made by Rode, I think, although it was heavy duty and it, it, it was a good boom arm, but it was a little bit too, too big. You had the arms, the, the arms were in, in the shot and it was taking up um, a, a lot of space on, on, on my desk. So I'm like, okay, I, I need something a little bit different. And I saw this and I'm like, I gotta have it. I, I gotta have it. And so the thing about this arm is that it has four different joints. So it can be moved to your liking in four different, uh, more than four different type of uh, types of positions. You, you basically can position this thing to your liking. Like right now, I, I probably can get away with moving this mic down a little bit. So let's see. So, right, okay, that's good. So I moved it away from the screen and I don't think my volume is um, has went down that much. I'm looking at the meter now, the sound meter. I don't, I don't think the volume has went down that much. I couldn't do that with my other boom arm. I just didn't have that type of, um, I didn't, I didn't have that type, that type of uh, adjustability with that other boom arm. But like I say, I can move it like this. I mean, I you can move that joint, move this joint, the second joint, and you also can adjust the tension, right? You can adjust the tension. Then also, I can move this up. So I can move that all the way up. Also move that all the way down like this, out of the way. You can't see it on the camera, but you can still hear me. I love this. I, I, I love this thing. And I can move it that way. Then I can adjust it this way until it, it, it just so, it's so adjustable and it's so low profile. And I would argue, I would actually argue that 
it's a lot more sturdier than my Rode um, Boom on. And so out of, out of all the gear, this is what I am most uh, uh, excited for, right? This is, is a boom on this. Is, anyway, shout out to the new people that are on this channel. Welcome. I do content just like this every single week. So if you get some type of value out of this video, hit that subscribe button. Let's go on to the next upgrade. So now let's talk about new camera angle, new camera angles. Now, as you can see from when I show the clip of the pole, I have a camera mounted on the pole and it's shooting straight down. Now this view is gonna be like a bird's eye, bird's eye view of my actual drawing tablet. So when I'm drawing, you get to see when I'm drawing, you get to see my actual, the actual movements of my hand. And it's almost like proof, like, you know, I'm, I really do this. But, but anyway, um, y'all let me know how y'all like this camera angle. I got a, I got a video that you can click on right up here. Right up here is just a time lapse video, uh, but y'all let me know how y'all like that angle, uh, cause I'm, I'm I'm be doing that angle a little bit more, um, especially uh, I want to start live streaming more and stuff like that. So I'm gonna be using that angle a little bit a little bit more in in my time lapses. Now I have, as y'all can see, I got two cameras actually connected to this pole and they are running to my computer using the Cam Link Pro. This is uh, Elgato's kind of like a capture card. I can plug in four different HDMI inputs into this capture card. So essentially I, I can have like four different type of views um, th that, that I can use. And this is all this 4K or whatever. So that's, that's how I got that uh, camera up there connected and it all seamlessly um, uh, is gonna work with the live stream and stuff like that. Now, I also have the stream deck, right? I also have the stream deck. Now the stream deck is basically a shortcut uh, type of thing that is used uh, while you're streaming, but I'm gonna be using it while I'm streaming, live streaming, and as I'm making content to make content a little bit more seamless, uh, you can add uh, transitions, different scenes and stuff like that. So it's gonna make my editing, the editing process easier uh, for me that I can, I can just do it all live. So you could do like, and this right here is a screen share. This is my tablet. So if I want to share my screen, I could just bam, press that button right there. It go, it goes straight to it. I can hit this button. See. Okay. That's my bird's eye view. I don't have that actual camera on. And then we can go back to this view right here. So, you know, I'm, I'm still kind of working it out, seeing, uh, what all shortcuts, uh, that I, that I need to use just trying to figure out my workflow. You can also add, uh, different special effects, sound music. You can add, uh, let's see. I don't even know if it's picking that, that music up, but you can add different sound effects and stuff like that. So I'm definitely going to be taking advantage of this uh, stream deck. But anyway, I hope y'all got some type of value out of this video today. If you did, hit that like button, smash that subscribe button. And as always, I'll holler at y'all next time. Believe that. So there we go, all on one arm. Bruh. Why is you hacking like Oh, that's probably, that's probably. Okay, so I, I think I figured it out. <laughs>